A GP practice in Brighton was closed temporarily today after a member of staff tested positive for coronavirus. Four new cases of the illness in the UK were confirmed this morning, bringing the total to eight. The government has moved to ensure that anyone in England who's in quarantine for the virus can't just leave by declaring it a serious and imminent threat to public health. Here's our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh. This is not Wuhan, but Brighton, where an entire medical centre and pharmacy are being deep cleaned after two local GPs tested positive for the new coronavirus, along with two other people in Brighton. It seems they were all infected in a ski chalet in France by a British businessman who'd himself got infected in Singapore. Without realising he was contagious, he passed on the virus to around a dozen Britons, all without going anywhere near China. The detection of this small number of cases could be the spark that becomes a bigger fire. But for now, it's only a spark. Our objective remains containment. The longer this outbreak goes on, the more scientists are learning about the new coronavirus. Latest estimates suggest it kills around one in a hundred people who are infected. That compares with one in ten people who died from SARS in 2003. Yet even though the new coronavirus is much less deadly, the death toll has already exceeded that of SARS. Now more than 900 compared to 774 for SARS. The reason is that this virus is so mild for huge numbers of people that unlike SARS, most of those infected never need hospital treatment. And this allows it to spread more effectively in the community. So how bad could it get if the virus starts spreading widely in the UK? Well, it's very hard to know, but seasonal flu in England alone kills between 10,000 and 30,000 people each year, most but not all over the age of 65. Nearly 200 Britons have been repatriated from Wuhan since the end of January and are in quarantine in Milton Keynes and Merseyside. At the weekend, one person threatened to leave Arrow Park Hospital, so emergency regulations have been brought in, allowing forcible detention. But most seem happy with the conditions. There are all sorts of games available. We've obviously got TVs, we've got access to the internet, Netflix. So all, all these different things that, uh, that are actually available to us do help to, to make this feel not like we're stuck in quarantine. In Wuhan, the epicentre of the outbreak, the growth in new cases has started to slow, but it's too early to know whether this epidemic can be contained. President Xi Jinping, shown having his temperature taken in Beijing, promised total warfare to beat the virus. This is one of the biggest challenges China has faced in decades, and the impact, both medical and economic, are being felt around the world. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.